how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well and so today is friday so happy friday today is october the 20th so we are getting through the month surprisingly enough this month for me has not been going by as fast as other months it seems like this year has been going by really fast but for some reason it for me <laughs> it seemed like it kind of slowed down a bit so we're just moving through the days here taking it day by day um we're still renewing my life trying to get my life back together girl and put the um puzzle pieces back together and i'm still on a job hunt i have received emails from some of you guys so i appreciate that you guys have been um some of you have been sending me emails regarding um job openings that you're aware of and different opportunities so i really appreciate the support on that i also appreciate all of the support that you guys have been leaving down in the comments so yeah girl i listen I take it all in, all of the positivity in, and blessings in, all of that. The only thing I will not take from you guys, though, is cash apps. One of you did put in a comment on the very first video that I did when I was spilling on my beans to you guys. Um, one of you offered to cash at me. Now, the whole thing with cash app is I feel weird about it. Like, I, I did... Um, in a like a while ago, I did used to put it in my description box, but now I don't. I don't think I need to double check before I put my foot in my mouth, but I'm pretty sure it's not on there anymore because I feel like you guys just watching the video is enough, right? So I don't want to take money from you guys, you know. Everybody, girl, it's hot out here for a pill, and that goes for everybody, okay? Everybody is trying to stay afloat, everybody trying to maintain. Girl, no, just watch the video all the way through, including the ads, and that'll be hey, that'll work for me, that'll help the channel more than you know, right? If you just what I do is the channels that I like, I let the ads play because I do know that that's how those channels get their coin, right? So I just let the ads play. So I'm, if I'm on YouTube and I'm listening to a video, I'm listening to it as I'm doing something else. So it's playing in the background and the ads just play as if I'm just watching regular TV, you know? So that is it that is all with that but i do appreciate you guys so much because without y'all there would be no channel okay let's be real about that um so girl it's just like tv shows on tv if there's no ratings if they're not getting good ratings then they cancel the show and where he goes wait that is public school that place we saw wasn't that bad and it's free are you kidding me
Alright, so I'm done cleaning down here. I started on this last night. And this is what I have everything in. So these are all the gift bags that I reuse in there. And then I sorted through all of the pictures that I had. And these are the ones that I kept. So those fit in there perfectly. And I slid this in there. Slides in perfectly. And I still have more space. So that worked out perfectly. The only thing that was down there was photos, cards, and this stuff right here. Here's the cards. I just have to find a home for those. Um, I like to keep my cards when people give me cards and stuff. I started a little bit of a donation situation right here. I'm going to go ahead and donate this. I've in the past said that I was going to donate it before and in the end decided to keep it. But I think this time I'm going to go ahead and donate it. Um, this right here, this whole bin is for donation and this DVD. Um, it's over here, but as a question mark, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep that yet or not. We actually have a DVD player in here. Olivia doesn't even watch DVDs. Her TV is a smart TV, so she has apps and stuff that she can watch. And we have a DVD in our bedroom. So that's really like just an extra one. So I might go ahead and let that go because I am cleaning my space, y'all. I'm... I like cleanliness. I can think better that way. All of these little small tasks that I've been putting off is what I have been doing um, over the last few days. Just going ahead and getting it out the way, wiping down stuff. Things are dusty. I've told y'all before in the past that my apartment gets humid and girl, just a whole lot, a whole lot. Of. So with that, um, with me cleaning out the bottom of that, it also left this extra container i don't know where the top is but it's okay i have some files in my bedroom that i can go ahead and put in here and it'll free up a little bit of space under my printer um so that works out and with this stuff the cords speaking of cords i'm going to keep the cords i need to put the cords over here in this bin i made a little bit of a mess last night looking for a roku remote um, we have two TVs here that are Roku TV. So both remotes are now missing. We were trying to change the setting on this TV. This TV is still set on the Comcast uh, internet network. So it needs to be changed. And our phones, the uh, Roku TV remote app on the phones, we all have it. But it's now set to the T-Mobile network. So it won't even allow us to even change the channel or anything. So or move the uh, move it to settings so let me show y'all let me see if i can show y'all what i'm talking about real quick here so you see it's a roku tv so this is the comcast remote so i was able to turn the tv on in general however that is all i can do i can't change the channel i can't move it because this is connected to the comcast
Hey y'all, so we're back home. We went to the Dollar Tree, took advantage of this nice weather. It is really nice outside. Um, as y'all saw, we walk, we were walking a little bit. So it was gloomy and wet yesterday. So I didn't go yesterday, but I'm glad I went today though. Olivia went with me and she kept me company, helped me carry some stuff. So it all worked out. She got herself some snacks while we were out. Um, since she got her own coin now. But, um, but yeah, so I went to the Dollar Tree because you guys know now that I am recently unemployed. So now we're just down to a one income household. So the money that I'm spending, I have to spend it even more wisely than I already was, right? I'm already a frugal shopper. I already use coupons, shop the deals, do all of those things already. But in areas where I can spend a little bit less i'm going to take advantage of that so i did go to the dollar tree to get our household essentials um for the week or you know what we needed around the house but i did have to venture over to the kroger though um to get a few things that they didn't have at the dollar tree so i'm just going to show you guys what i picked up um everything was a dollar 25 with the exception of what i picked up over at the kroger but i'll do that last so i am on my last scrub buddy scrubber and i like these they come three in a pack i normally get these or the brillo but i get the brillo if they have the bonus pack which has three sponges in it they didn't have it so i went with this um they work just fine they don't scrape up my um uh, dishes or anything like that they are they do say that they're non scratch so good deal on that we got some reusable gloves because i want to paint my nails but my hands are always in water y'all so my nail polish comes off in like a couple of days and a lot of the times i take my time doing my nails i fall in love with them and then they start sh chipping because of how much my hands is in water so i decided to go ahead and get me some reusable heavy duty gloves um that i can wash dishes with clean the bathrooms with all of the things i also needed a shower curtain liner i started to get two but i put one back because the bathroom in the hallway no one uses that shower um, so, you know, I can get a shower liner for that bathroom later, but the, um, definitely need one in our bathroom, in the bedroom. So got a shower liner and I got some seasonings that I saw for the first time. This is garlic herb, garlic and herb seasoning. So I got two of those just in case the next time i go back they don't have any they did have two no they had three other choices they had the everything bagel cilantro and lime and tomato and basil so i, I want to try the garlic and herb so i got two of those more candy olivia picked up she picked up these um, these are Kool-Aid, Goulade, Poppin' Candy, Scary Berry Flavor. It comes with three in a pack. So she wanted that. So she got two packs of those. And then she picked up some uh, Warhead Sour Taffies, which they're saying are new. So she got, she got that. Now I've got some wax melts. The wax melts that I have with the exception of two packs um, the ones that I have left with the exception of two packs are ones that I really don't like that much. And so it's fall season, they're fall scents. So I want to go ahead and burn those up, get them out of my basket um, so I can stop looking at them. Because some of them has been in that basket since last year, probably the year before, whenever I purchased it, when it was on sale or something. So in order for me to go ahead and burn those, I needed to get some... Dollar Tree uh, tea light candles because at some point I know I've said this like a thousand times on this channel I want to switch over to uh, the plug-in wax melt um, so or the plug-in wax warmer or just uh, maybe a either a wax warmer plug-in or a air purifier that has the essential the compartment where you can put the essential oil in and then when it sprays out 
you know, it also sprays fragrance as well. So that's what I'm moving towards, but I have these wax melts that are left. I don't want to throw them away. So I'm going to go ahead and suffer through the scents just to use them up. So I did get two packs of the tea light candles. I got two packs. There's 20 in a pack. I got two just in case one of them is defective. I pray that both of them are good. One time or the last time I purchased these from the Dollar Tree, each candle was defective. It only burned the wick light down to the wax and then it wouldn't burn them more like it was weird. So hopefully these, um, these look a little different. So anyway, hopefully these are not defective. So I got two packs of those. Then I got some Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. I have some, it's the snow blow toilet bowl cleaner, but it's not disinfectant. So in order not to use up all my comment too fast, which is what I do is for the bleach aspect of it. Um, and because I didn't have any more bleach, I only had what was in that spray bottle. I was doing that snow blow um, toilet bowl cleaner with the Comet for the bleach. So I just said, well, let me get one of these. It was on my list. I did make a list when I went. Um, this kills 99% germs. So got that. Got this for the refrigerator. I'm going to be cleaning out the refrigerator soon. So some Arm & Hammer. Got some air freshener that was on my list as well. They had fresh linen and it smelled pretty okay. So I went ahead and got that. That's for the bathrooms. And for the fabrics, oh, this is an air freshener, air freshener. Oh, I thought this was like a fabric freshener. I like the scent. Um, there's a fragrance or, well, there's an air freshener that they sell at the Dollar Tree for like if you want to eliminate smoke smells, pet odors and stuff like that. Well, I just like the way it smells. So when I saw this, um, I thought this was fabric freshener, but this is also an air freshener. And I like the smell of it. I normally get this in the aerosol can, you know, like this. They didn't have any though. I just like the scent. It has, I think it comes in two scents, like a clean scent and like a lavender scent when they have them. And I like the clean scent better. And it's the, um, the blue can. And to me, just in my personal opinion, the scent of that smells better than the, what's the, is it wick? Wicks, air wick, wick something. Some other brand that they sell in the Dollar Tree in the linen clean scent. I don't really like it, but I like that. And it's crazy because that's a Dollar Tree brand versus a store brand. So I thought this was a fabric scent, but anyways, I can probably still use it as that. So I got that. And then they had this. This is something new that I haven't seen. This is new. This is new. And these are new as far as me seeing them before. It's my first time seeing those three products. Um, so this is new. So I picked this up. Disinfectant spray kills 99% germs. It's a multi-surface uh, disinfecting spray. And let's see, leaves no residue, fragranced with plant-derived oils, no rinsing required. It's a three-in-one, cleans, deodorizes, and disinfects. The brand is Dapple Baby. It has no harsh chemicals, and it's powered by hydrogen peroxide, and it's in the fresh citrus scent. So, I feel like I've seen this on like a TikTok or something, like a Dollar Tree, what did I buy, TikTok, or not a TikTok, but a short I think one time the packaging looks familiar, but it was my first time seeing it in person. So I went ahead and picked it up. I only grabbed one bottle just in case. Um, it was one of those hit or miss, like, you know, buy it one time, don't like it, and then got like three or four bottles, and now I'm trying to get rid of them. I didn't want to do that. So if I like it, then I'll go get more. So from Kroger at Dollar Tree, they didn't have any bleach, y'all, like no bleach. I was looking for the small Clorox bottles because that's the only disinfecting bleach that they carry when they do have bleach. All of the other bleaches are just bleach. None of them disinfect. So I had to go ahead and get this small bottle of Clorox from Kroger. It was $3.99. They didn't have any of the Kroger brand bleach. So went ahead and got that. And then 
to add to the toilet paper that we have, I went ahead while at the Kroger, went ahead and got this because they didn't have any four packs at the Dollar Tree. So went ahead and got this. This was $2.49, so that's a four pack. It's um, comparable or it's similar to the Scott brand tissue. And then to add on to the paper towels that we have left, I just got this two pack and this was also $2.49. So today is Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out. It's still early and I'm going to start up another vlog. So if you guys enjoyed the video and you are enjoying the content so far of me trying to get my life back together, and on this journey of making um, changes to adapt all the things if you guys are enjoying so far let me know down in the comments um, and yeah I will see you guys on the next video bye